W block stands for right block. It is possible to say searches as block and these blocks can be inserted into any drawing file today. That's right. The W block commands and the command line and press enter. The right block dialog box will be displayed here. You can choose the pick point button to specify the insertion base point after doing that. You can see that in the command line you will be asked to specify insertion base point. Now, I'm going to do that then for the second time, right? Like dialog box will be shown. And then in this step, you have to select the objects to create a block. Also, you can convert the selected objects to a block by choosing convert to block option or also remove them from the current drawing by choosing the from drawing. Some of your objects by each matter that you want, then by pressing enter button for the third time. The right block dialog box will be opened. Then to save this circuit block, you have to specify the name and the location in the file name and password box, which is destination for saving your new block. Finally, by choosing, OK, this selected circuit will be saved. Now, I want to insert the previous stability block circuits to do so, I'm going to choose insert W. Block circuits and insert components panel and then they insert double the block circuit window will be opened. You can select the safe circuit from the location that you had inserted before. If you remember, I saved it here in this file. Then I'm going to open the safe circuits. Therefore, if you want to, you can specify costs on a scale and is added box and finally choose. OK. In the last bar, the things that you have to do is a specifying the insertion point for placing the circuit. Now I'm going to do it and click at the point. And here you can see the safe circuit is inserted. You will often need to save a part or portion of a circuit and use it to answer to your new drawing. First of all, I open a demo drawing which contains circuits to do that in the Edit Components panel. From the Circuit drop-down, I'm going to choose Safe Circuits, so I commend you to the Safe Circuit to examine your dialog box will be displayed for me. There are many saved user secrets here in the upper right corner. There is adoption and when you're selected you can create new circuits. So choose it and the new dog box will be shown. Here you can type a name for your new circuit and then if you want to specify an icon for it, you can. Insert a file to do that. Beside this added box, you have Browse Basin to search for desired image. And also by using Pick button, you can use current icon in your drawing. And the file name added box, you can specify the file name for the circuit, will you do that? You can see the location which is the term in for your new circuit after specifying your parameters. You can choose OK, and then you will the prompters and the command line to specify the base point. And this part, 
you have to select the objects and it can be done by selecting the objects one by one. Or by drawing a window to choose all objects. Simon, tenuously. Then press center, as you see, the ninth circuit will be added here, so choose the OK to save the all changes. It is possible to insert safe circus to your drawing. The insert safe secure tool is located in the insert components panel and from the inside circuit drop down, you can select it. The safety issues or circuits are displayed in this dialog box and you can choose each one that you want to add to your drawing. I'm going to choose one of them. Then a new window will be opened, which contains the scale here you can select, OK, and then you have to specify the insertion point to place the circuit. It is possible to move your circuit to do that in the Edit Components panel from the Circuit drop-down. Select Move Circuits. Then you have to select the objects and in this step, you can select them one by one or just create a new window which contains desired parts of your circuit. Note that in this Estaban, after selecting objects, you need to right click on the screen, then as you see in the command line, it is needed to specify base point for moving. As you know, the base point is the center of moving and you can choose it at your desired point. Select the base and then you need to choose the second point to move your circuit. Sometimes you need to create a copy of your current circuit, so to do that from the edit components. Panel circuits, drop down, choose copy circuit. So as it is mentioned in the command line, you have to select the objects to copy them. I'm going to do that and create a window which contains my desired circuit. Then I have to right click on the screen and in this step, I have to choose the base point. Here you can see the covered circuit. And then by placing the copied circuit at a desired location or by clicking at a point, it can be done. You can place several corporate circuits at your desired location and a command will be terminated. You press escape button. Not that the copied components get tagged according to the reference of the specified location automatically. To automate drawing over circuits, including placing a circuit for yourself automatically and configuring it, the Circuit Builder tool is an option that can be applied. And the hands placing you're doing with the right features or attributes that you are interested can be done automatically. By using Circuit Builder, you will be able to reduce the mistakes and save more time during drafting. Your drawing to do that. I'm going to choose a schematic tab. Then, as you see, we have insert components panel and I need to select circle builder here to open. It an open dialog box. We have secured area that consists of several circuits, categories or circuits. Types such as motorcycles and power fit in one phase or trip haze. By selecting the plus side, the included circles in each category will be displayed. And Iran is facing area, 
we will be able to edit the space between drawings of letter or specify the value of trip haze vertical or horizontal, rather, spacing in our circuits. As far as I'm going to insert a circuit, for instance, so in the circuits area, I select my desired category of circuits, then I choose insert button to place it in the drawing. The next step, as it is mentioned in the command line, you need to specify the insertion point to place it at the desired location. So I click on it point as it can be seen. It takes time to build the circuits and creating each part of circuit is being done. Finally, the selected circuit is created and each parva, including components thrown here, as you know, each component consists of attributes. And during building a circuit, you can determine these attributes and attach them to these components. To explain more about this part, I'm going to build this sucker for the second time. But I intend to specify attributes or annotation to this motor component, for instance. So I select the circle builder to do it. That's and this time I'm going to select the circuit as I selected in previous is step, then to specify the attributes, I go to a special annotation area. And the right side of this dialog box, we have a special annotation area, if you choose the precise spot on by using the list in a new window will be opened. Here you can see a table which represents annotation, values that belong to the category that you have selected. Dates of this table is available as a default as Pritchett file in Excel, and the location is mentioned in the top of this dialog box. No. I'm going to choose this option to use this annotation and write it. These are value that represents the motor tag idea. So I write it here in the value column. In the next part, by choosing the OK bottom, then selecting the insert button, the circuit that I selected will be created. Here you can see an attribute which belongs to this component and is attached to it, and it is obvious that in the previous circuit that I created, the similar component didn't have this attached attribute. If you need to use annotation precy in existing SciCAD, you have to select the order option that I'm going to explain about it. To do that, I want to choose a builder for an all the time. Then in the special annotation area, there is a reference existing circus option. By selecting the list, often beside it, a new dialog box will be appeared. Here you can choose a salad, a reference circuit, and use its predefined annotation to apply it to the new circuits. Also, if there is no need to use any special annotation presets by choosing non-person, it can be possible. The other part that I am going to explain about it is how to configure a circuit. This option allows you to create a new circuit by modifying the values of components that belong to another circuit as a reference in the circuits area. We have category of circuits that can be used as reference circuits. I'm going to choose one circuit, for instance, and then I'm going to choose configure button. 
After doing that in the command line, you will be prompted to specify the insertion point. So I click on the points. Up to here, we have just a sketch of our new circuit based on the reference circuit that we selected. And this is the we need to sets of annotations or specify our desired values for circuit elements. The circuit elements are listed in this area, such as motto set setup, motor symbol, power factor, cable, marker, and the other elements that are available here. Something that you need to do in this part is to ensure the values or a specification of each element. One by one, to create your own circuit. For example, I choose to set up and then buy into a set of annotation area, you have to specify the type, the load units and the other parameters related to the model setup. Also, we have wire sets of this box with related parameters. And sun rose by using the station beside the perimeter, you will be able to select your D.R the specification. Or value. There is the all the way to insert values by using this button beside motto sets, a box, a new dollar box, which is named select motor, is shown as it can be seen. There is a list of motus. Ichiro refers to a motto which contains the information, including the voltage load phase. And to find your desired motor, you can use these three parts. Tape voltage earn frequency. For instance, I select this value for voltage, and I you see all the motors with the same voltage. Value as shown in the table. Or I choose this type of motto and the table shows the exact kind of this motto. These are the predefined parameters by choosing the OK button and as you can see, all the parameters. Related to the chosen motor are displayed in the set of motto's parts automatically, and it is not needed to enter the values manually. If there is existing motto in your drawing by choosing this person, you can choose the motto from your drawing and extract parameters values to enter them in the motto setup parameters fields. Divorce, that's a part you can apply to a similar procedure to fill the values for each parameter automatically. Just beside the voice setup. Choose this button to open, wire sets up, look up, then you can select your DNA as a wire, which is specifications. And by choosing the OK button, it is done automatically. If you take a look at the other elements by choosing to search button beside them, the Catholic browser will be opened and it makes it possible to select your desired Catholic data for selected circuit elements. There are several ways to place the second elements into your drawing, if you look at this part, there are four buttons here. If you decide to insert all the second elements, Simon, tenuously, you can choose this button. But if you want to use it, every selector or highlighted element, one by one, you can choose this button. For example, I choose these elements and by choosing the first button, the elements will be inserted in the drawing. The order button is for inserting all the elements, Opta includes highlighted circuit elements after 
Inserting your elements by choosing the top bottom, the whole circuit will be placed. But something that you have to notice is that when you do want to specify all the circuit elements parameters. After choosing Dunbarton, a new Darlow box will be opened that tells you about removing the template. Drawing markers that are not replaced with circuit elements. By selecting the Yes button, it will continue, but by choosing the No button, you will back to the second configuration part to determine the second elements. Parameters Now we're choosing the Don't button, the circuit will be inserted. The last part of circuit selection dialog box, which I am going to explain about it is history to show. You this part, I select a circle builder tool for once again. And here you can see the history part as it can be seen. We have a blank area here. If you select the default option, a drop down list will be appeared. It consists of SEC of parameters which have been in the configured circuits. For example, I chose the SICO to see the results and here it can be seen. The parameters of chosen circuits video you to configure the circuit before all the new circuit parameters. In the previous configured circuits such as motor load, motor type, or the other specifications related to the wire and so on will be available. And here you can see this is status. Therefore, by using this option, you will be able to utilize configured circuit specifications or parameter values as a reference and apply them to the new circuit that you want to build. Something that you have to not to start when you choose to reference existing circuit option, the default. In the history part will be inactive.